like the way the like grass and trees are spaced out. It's like a silvo pasture. Lots of hills and rocks. This is all of the Rushmore workers, 1927 to 1941. Those are all the those are all the people who worked on the mountain. Gutzon Borglum, sculpted by his son. So he died like the year before. He was the project leader, and he died like the year before it was completed. So his son took over. So apparently he also his son also carved this for him. Cool. This is the avenue of flags. There are 56 flags. There's a flag for every state, commonwealth, and uh, territory of the United States. Can you find Washington? I already found it. I think I did too. It's green. <laughs> so many of these flags are blue. Found it. Red, white, and blue. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Oh, here, look, it says. Oh, look. American Samoa, Alaska, Alabama. So they're alphabetical, sort of ish. No, they're not. Huh. There's Florida, Georgia, D.C., Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Guam, Hawaii, Idaho. They're, they're, they're in some sort of alphabetical order. Maybe it crosses back and forth over the path. Why is the actual American flag in this? I don't know. Look here. Look. I wish it was like in the key, on a huge pole in, at the end. Well, they don't want to block the view of the monument. Maybe there's the American flag on this. Mm -hmm. Vaguely alphabetical. But... Yeah, like I was thinking, maybe it does it go back and forth like this. Oh, there's a blank one. Huh? There's a blank one. Because <laughs> there are groups of three and there's 56, so. Well, that doesn't make sense, does it? I don't know. Whatever. It does. It makes sense. Because to have multiple of three, the closest number would be 57. Here is it. Here it is. Yeah. This is the Grand View Terrace. That's huge. Let's, we can go down and sit. I have a better picture. What's that for? Probably presentation and events. They do like a lighting ceremony. Yeah. yeah. It's like nine o'clock or something like that. What's making all the sand and rocks so sparkly? Granite. Mm. The quartz. Or maybe ooh. Mm. It's possible there's um what's it called? That stuff that I use for making sparkles and 
stuff. Mica? Mica, yeah. Mm. There might be mica. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's the big thick sheets of mica, like in um, yeah. Carolina. South Carolina? North Carolina? I'm not sure. That very feels like glitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like pyrite and stuff, minerals. Mica is nice. Mica is nice. <laughs> I think that's a birch tree. Oh yeah? Yeah, that's a birch. With the white bark, yep. Yep, with the white bark. Oh, black. 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 Can you read it, Annalise? Yeah. 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 Like just this picture? Or? No, start at the top. At the heart of the plains, Indian life was the TP or TP. The word comes from the CO language meaning used to dwell. The TP. Ta da! So we keep finding this mica everywhere. There's also this, this yeah. stuff, and if you look at the rock right there, you can, you might not be able to see it, but yeah, on the camera it probably just looks wet, but it's not wet. It's sparkly. It's shimmery. Look. Yeah. Hey, can I see? See. So this stuff oh, is. falls off. You know, mica powder that you buy at the store. That's mm -hmm. what. Like craft it's, store. That's what it's made out of. Cool. Okay. There's a man over here that might tell you some cool stuff. Hmm? You want to go talk to him? Yeah. How you doing, young man? Good. How are you? I'm good. good. Nice. Oh, I wish it was more exciting than that. Can you tell us a little bit about your drum? Yeah, sure. I'm a percussionist. I love drums. This drum was made out of an alkyd. I made it myself. Hmm. I, of course, I found the drum ring uh, just looking around at an antique shop. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I got the alkyd and it was a bigger piece and I soaked it really good all night because it was nice and stiff like this when I got it. Then I cut strips off to make the string. And then uh, uh, the next day I took it out of the water, put it on, put it flat on a flat surface. I put the rawhide, I poked holes in it, then I started to weave the string within, mm -hmm. back and forth and so forth like that. And then when I got it done, I went outside, I put it in the sun, let it dry, and then tightened up on its own. And then it came out with the sound. Sounds like a drum, I think. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's a big boom, huh? Yeah. He has dancing shoes on, so if I sing a song, you think, you think he'll be dancing? Yeah. I don't think, you want, dancing. I don't think you want me dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Peter will dance. Peter will dance. No. Yeah, no. these are dancing shoes too. Yeah, yeah. Those are dancing shoes as well. <laughs> those are not dancing shoes. Those are not dancing shoes. Just those, those, and those. <laughs> but our people, when they sing songs and so forth, it's all. It comes from a. It comes from our heart. We say the drum is representation of that heartbeat of Mother Nature. Mother Nature is living all the time. Everything comes from Mother Nature. All the Harley Davidsons we drive, Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. RVs we got cruising down the road, yep. Mother Nature. Yep. The clothes we use, the food we eat, everything. So we say Mother Nature is breathing and living all the time. So the drum is a representation of that Mother Nature, the heartbeat of Mother Nature.
That was good, huh? Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I was waiting for him to dance, him and him, but apparently they... Just fascinated. Yeah. I did, I did not understand it. Yeah? <laughs> That's okay, because it was just the melody. Mm -hmm. it sounded good though, right? Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. feel that energy that it had? Mm-hmm. What did it make you think of? Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't hold back. You gotta sit next to him next time. Yeah. yeah. You gotta get a little closer. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. So you guys are from this. Does it say you're here? Okay, let's go look. Mm -hmm. Might be too dark in here for my camera, let's see. Oh. A little crowded, but we'll be light. Yeah. <laughs> Same color. <laughs> Cool. Look, you can see George Washington. Sorta. Where is it? There he is. Can I see? Yay, it's focused. <laughs> <laughs> it has a really good autofocus. I don't have to do much. Yeah? They said the audio tour they were on said it was called something else. Mm hmm Helia something or Hema, I don't know. Come on, Pete. I want to ask a ranger if we see one. Well, looks like there was some fire down there. Mm -hmm some point. Break the stairs. The truck will actually break the stairs? The yeah. truck would fit on this platform, but not the RV. That's not exactly what I meant. Yeah, I know. We were talking about bringing the RV up here. Yeah. And homeschooling. Because this is kind of homeschooling. Mm -hmm. Doing all the education stuff. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. Do you feel educated? What? Are you per? Crazy person. Shall we keep going? That yes. was that yeah. was Roosevelt. I am the leader. You want to show the map where we are? Well, show the camera where we are. Hello? Sure. We are here. Where are we going? Here. Yep. Well, first here, then here, then here. Yep. Come Down on, some more I'm stairs. Uh -huh. Come on, I'm the leader. Okay, don't go too fast. Grand Co. New York Imperial Type 10. Oh. What is this thing? Well, let's read the sign. What do you think, Pete? What? Good. Mm -hmm. This holes they put dynamite in there. It's like that. Uh huh. I'm guessing these are for practice. What the people well, they're examples. With. Cool. Fix the picture, please. Picture. Oh, and there's one in the back, too. Pretty cool. So this is the guy that was in charge of the project. Guts in four. Yep. And more people who helped out. This building is really pretty. David, you want to build us a house like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I want to 
on to videotape a little before my ice cream is gone. How's it, how is it? Love it. Love it? How is it, Annalise? Delicious. What flavor did you get? Cotton candy. Cotton candy? Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Chocolate. Good. Mint chocolate chip, I assume. Yep. Only good. It's only right choice. The only Mint right. <laughs> yep. Delicious. Cheers. Squishy, squishy, squishy. Squish, squish, squish. And out the window. Here, hold that. How nice to you guys. It's good. Just out our window. <laughs> Recording your mess. Hmm. Peter, can you tell me what you learned about Mount Rushmore today? Uh, just four presidents yeah. on the. It's cool. Do you remember which, which president? Uh, yeah. I do not like the. the um, Like a cookie. Oh, cookie dough? Like a sugar wafer. It's just a little soggy at the top where the ice cream is. But it's crunchier mm -hmm. further down. get a, a big bite with some of the ice cream in it, too. Almost done with yours? Where to next? Uh, the car. Yep. We're gonna eat our sandwiches probably in the car. It's an hour drive back. And I do want to get back to Luke, so. We'll stop into the gift shop real quick. I need a sticker. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any stickers. What? I didn't see any stickers. I see one. And I don't really like it. So I'm gonna try to get something. You don't have to finish it, Peter, if you decide you're done. That's a lot for you. I decided I'm done. Okay. So, Daddy will take you to the bathroom to wash your hands. You can throw away the rest of that. You don't want to give it away to anyone. <laughs> what? You don't want to give it away to anyone. Gross. Okay. Just find a little kid and be like, would you like a free ice cream cone? Would you like a free ice cream cone? 